Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Jenny Yavanga. Today we want to cook fried rabbit. So I'm going to take you through the process of purchasing the rabbit So Let's go. Ya so guys we've already purchased the rabbit and now the process is going to slaughter it and then the afterwards we are going to cook it Guys, I'm here and we are going to slaughter the rabbit as you can see we are going to be helped by Alex and we have Felix and we have John here so guys as you can see our rabbit is already slaughtered so what you want to do you want to wash it and I'm being advised that the rabbit cannot be cooked immediately so what I want to do I just want to carry it then I go hang it for 24 hours so we are going to cook it the next day so Keep tuned until we cook the rabbit tomorrow. So you would Welcome back. 
my name is Jane Yamanga and today's video we are going to prepare the rabbits and we are going to serve the rabbit with the African vegetables and the vegetables include the managu which is called the black nightshade we have the we have what is called the saga which is the spider plant so we are just going to boil the vegetables first because they have to cook for 40 minutes is when now we come to cut the rabbit so I'm going to dip my vegetables into my boiling water and they are going to cook for 40 minutes before we fry them. I'm going to cut the rabbit into smaller pieces I just want to do the smaller pieces just to be enough for the family so I've already removed the first joint so let me do the legs I'm still going to make the to cut the part into smaller pieces. I want to remove the excess part as you can see. So the reason why I'm cooking the rabbit is because the meat is always very sweet and tender and this is a wild rabbit. So the meat is always tender and very nice very delicious by the way. washed my rabbit meat so what I want to do I just want to put oil onto my pot just a little amount and I'm going to add onions onto the oil after adding the onions I'm going to add this is grinded garlic I'm going to cook the onions until they are golden brown before I add my rabbit meat. At this point, I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. Then I'm going to mix. We are going to leave our meat to cook for 10 minutes and I will cover the meat.
So our meat is still boiling. As it boils, I'm going to check on my vegetables. And the vegetables are well cooked, so I'm just going to drain the water and then I fry the vegetables. And the first step I'm going to do, I'm just going to add some oil into my cooking pot. Just enough amount. Then I'm going to add my spring onions. put my spring onions into the oil. I'm leaving the spring onions to cook for like three minutes. After cooking for three minutes, I'm going to add my vegetables, my traditional vegetables, remember? At this point, I'm going to add the vegetables And I'm going to mix as I add continuously. So as I mix, I want them to mix completely with the onion. And somebody would ask why I use the steam onions. The spring onions have the same color as the, as the vegetables and they mix so well with the vegetables and they have a very different taste in the morass. So we are just going to mix them as if now we are crushing the water. So we want to crush the water as we mix. So we we'll continue crushing them. for crushing them is just a way of cutting them when they are already cooked. At this point again I'm going to add fresh milk just one cup. So add the milk until now the boga is just swimming into the milk. Let the boga float and swim. And I'm going to leave my vegetables to cook for 10 minutes into the milk. My meat has cooked for 10 minutes and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add my tomatoes and the tomatoes, I remove their covers. I don't like covers in my food. I don't like a all at all. So I always remove the covers by dipping the tomatoes in salt water. So after adding the tomatoes, I'm going to add my green capsicum. I'm going to add my green capsicum. So I've already added my tomatoes onto my rabbit meat and capsicum. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mix. And I'm going to leave the tomatoes to cook for five minutes until they are soft and completely broken. So guys, our meat is already cooked, so what I want to do, the last thing, is just to add the coriander, which I don't expect to, I don't expect it to cook, it's just to bring the aroma out. So I'm, 
I'm checking on through my vegetables and as you can see the vegetables are just well cooked into the milk I'm still going to let them simmer into the milk for like now five minutes again and then I remove them and serve them with our rabbit meat wow And I want to serve the vegetables for our guests. We have a guest, remember? So I'm just going to serve the, the vegetable first. And I'm going to serve with my... Wow, the smell. guest here, Mr. Mr. Who? Mr. Sosin, who is going to taste my delicacies of rabbit and vegetables and like a small ugali. The ugali is small because it's served for one person, guys. I don't cook such ugali. I normally cook a full souvenir of ugali. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, the food looks so delicious. Before you ask. So you are going to taste and tell me how I went through if I passed the exams. Normally I normally get I normally get A plus in cooking, so I don't know whether today I did A plus plus. But I'm sure I did A plus plus. So that is fried rabbit. And this is traditional vegetable, the traditional vegetable uh, manabu. Guys, you don't have to miss this. You have to try this at your own kitchen. The food is so sweet. For such a like food, just you have to subscribe here for such a like recipe. So my visitor is attesting that my food is delicious and more than delicious. You should try the recipe of fried rabbit at home. It's a very unique meal. That's why I chose it and it's nice. The meat is tender, the meat is soft. So don't forget to try it and give me a thumbs up after trying. Thank you. So guys, our cooking is over and that's how I do my rabbit and the traditional vegetables. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I would suggest that you don't forget to like, share, subscribe and don't forget to click the notification for my next video. Thank you and bye!